And now, the News West 9 Salvation Army Toy Drive Special, brought to you by Market Street and your Permian Basin Chevy dealers. Good afternoon, everyone, and Merry Christmas. We have had another successful mm -hmm. year with our toy drive. News West 9 and the Salvation Army have been partnering up for this toy drive. Can you believe this? For 27 That's a long years. Time. Very few people in this building right now were <laughs> even around when it first came about, but we know someone who was. And Victor, you had a chance mm -hmm. to walk down memory lane with the person who actually started it. That's right, Crystal. Kathy Swindler is among the few people that we have to thank for our toy drive being in existence today. And it's hard to believe that we've been doing it for as long as we have. And Kathy is definitely one of those great minds who paved the way back then for us today. I think it was just so simple. Somebody said, hey, we ought to collect toys and put them on the new set. It sounds strange to put toys on a new set, but the decision was made to give it a try. We even got some help from our neighbors at West Texas Drum. I think just because they're so durable and we actually um, had a company right down the street that donates the barrels and so we would um, just let them know every year and they would clean them up, spick and span and load them up on the truck for us and and uh, to let it help us deliver them out to uh, all the fire stations. And so the News West 9 Salvation Army toy drive was born, but would it succeed? We did put barrels out at the fire station, and then we did encourage people to bring toys to the station. Um, and uh, the first year, we had just enough to cover the desk, pretty much, and behind and a little bit down the wall. I mean, it was, it took two of us to back them up. Little did Kathy and the rest know they were on to something big. Word got out and everyone wanted to get in on the action. But within a few years, um, and a lot of organizations bringing every day, somebody, a church, a school, a, a business would bring their kids and their employees and come out and with toys. And it didn't stop there. People saw that good was being done and wanted to chip in. What better way to spread the Christmas cheer than help those in need? And let's just say they spread it on thick. Within a few years, we had covered every square inch of wall in the building and some of the desks and the conference room. And so, and we, in fact, we had um, two semi trucks, um, one that we completely filled, one for Midland and one for Odessa. Sure, the kids getting the toys felt good, but the good feeling was passed along to everyone who dropped off a toy or two. Kathy describes it as a feeling you could literally feel. It just feels so good. I mean, the, the TV stations are. Um, are so generous with their, you know, to, to nonprofits and to the community. And, but that's one project where everybody gets to touch and feel it. It's not, we're not just running spots um, to promote an event or, or raise awareness. We actually get to touch it and feel it. Needless to say, the toy drive has grown in popularity. More and more businesses, families, and organizations want to do their part to put presents under these families' Christmas trees, which is, after all, what it's all about. No child should go without at Christmas. So this way, um, they're receiving, you know, toys and, and um, this, you know, it's just really kind for the families. And, and I think it makes those in the community that put it together, you know, feel really good too, because they get to, you know, they know they're helping. But we all know that there is no way that we can do this alone. It really is only su as successful as um, those companies and those businesses or churches or schools that, that work to gather. And if you take a walk through our station, you'll see how successful it can be. It's like a Christmas wonderland, you know, it's like you can't help but be, you know, get the Christmas spirit and the giving spirit when you're looking at it every day. Kathy says that she's happy that the toy drive has continued to be as successful as it is and that she hopes that we continue to meet the needs of all the children, the less for fortunate, especially with the way the economy is right now. It's nice to know that we are there to help them. That is right. I couldn't agree more. The toy drive has been a huge success for the Salvation Army over the years by giving families in need something to look forward to for Christmas. That's right. And through those gifts, the Salvation Army shares Christ's hope, love, and joy with these families. But not only that, this iconic campaign has been around for so many years. You know what? After learning so much wonderful history about our, st our station's toy drive, let's go ahead and get into some of the history about this faith-based charity. Well, if you didn't know, the Salvation Army is the one of the oldest organizations of its kind in the country, although we have to travel across the pond to learn more about how it originated. 
Former Methodist minister William Booth and his wife Catherine created the Salvation Army in 1865 when they began preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ to the poor, the homeless, and the hungry in London, England. It wasn't until 1880 that the Salvation Army officially came to America. And to wrap up the history, the Salvation Army has grown over the years. They assist about 23 million Americans every year. They serve in 130 countries around the world and have over 1.5 million members consisting of officers, soldiers, and adherents. In a secret warehouse not far away, Santa's helpers were busy all week packaging up those toys and gifts for some deserving West Texas children. The Salvation Army worked long hours to make it happen. Photojournalist Marcos Montes had the chance to watch them in action. And as you're about to see, all that hard work was worth it. We're going to help over a thousand children this year. Um, and so we could not, we absolutely could not do that without the community. The parents are the ones who tell us what the children want. If we put, you know, maybe four toys on there just to give somebody an idea of what they want, a lot of times somebody will buy every single toy on there and they'll buy, um, they'll buy a couple of shirts and they'll buy a couple of pairs of jeans and they'll buy socks and shoes and jackets and whatever's on that, that angel, they will buy every single thing for them. We want the kids just to be able to get something for Christmas and then parents are able to say, I got, you know, I provided for this. They went through the process of doing it and so um, they can take some pride into getting something for their kids. Ready? Yeah. Bam. Parents, you know, when they really need something and they get what they, what the kid has really wanted, um, they'll, they'll cry and give us hugs and things like that. It blesses us to see people who, who really say, you know what, I, I really just didn't have money, you know, to do this, or I just lost my job last month, and so I didn't have any money to buy my kids gifts, and so I, I couldn't imagine not getting my kids gifts or my kids getting up for Christmas and not having anything under a tree. Um, and so that, that's what we're here for. That's, that's the kind of thing that um, we feel like is the best thing for people, is to be able to, to you know, have, have some gifts for their children. I just thank the community for being so supportive and um, being able to actually make a, a good Christmas for a child. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? We love the reindeer. Now that is the way to ring in the holidays. This group is called Tall City Self Advocates. They're part of Mark, teaching people with challenges to live a life without limits. Every year they sing their hearts out with holiday songs to some lucky Midlanders. This is just one of their fundraisers. They use the money for special trips or adventures, but they don't just keep that for themselves. They actually pass on that generosity to help others. Well, this year they decided to help the News West 9 Salvation Army Toy Drive. Check out these bicycles that they rolled into our studios. The group helps different organizations every year, but this time around, they chose our toy drive. We help promote the community, help service the community. We do fundraisers, we do special activities, and we go on a trip once a year during the summer. We all vote for where we would decide to go. Um, this year we went to a sports academy and we picked up three bikes to help donate towards the kids. So the, so the parents won't be buying. So that's, so that's the reason why the Zach Africans went out and bought the bikes for the kids so the parents won't do it. They also wanted to help out the parents who didn't have enough money to buy gifts. And by the way, the group votes on who they want to help out. We were the fortunate ones to be chosen because that means more children in our toy drive will get that special bike under the tree. It started more than 20 years ago. All it took was $1 and a simple pen. It's called the longest letter to Santa. 
A simple scroll where kids can send their wishes to the North Pole. The money used to buy toys for the News West 9 Salvation Army Toy Drive. It was started by an AT&T worker who took part in the company's AT&T Pioneers, a volunteer group. Dell worked with AT&T for more than 30 years. Even though she considers herself to be retired, she continues to serve the Permian Basin with the Pioneers. And her longest letter to Santa Fundraiser has put countless toys under the Christmas tree for kids all across West Texas. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Generosity rings, signs of Christmas all over town. The season brings tradition old and new. And one of the longest running traditions in Midland centers on the spirit of giving. There's people less fortunate than others and we have a lot of wonderful people in this area that are very giving. Kids in Midland are signing a letter for Santa, but not just any letter. It's the longest letter to Santa. Markers, we have every color under the rainbow. They get to choose whatever color. Sometimes they use two or three colors, and some of them make very pretty pictures. For every signature, one dollar is donated to deliver Christmas cheer to local children. They want to see every child get uh, joy out of the Christmas holidays, and that's a way to uh, buy toys to donate to uh, the less fortunate. A small gesture that will have a big impact for West Texas families this holiday season. In Midland, Tate Owen, News West 9. So just how did this holiday tradition get started? Dell tells us she saw a group out fundraising with a smaller version of the Santa letter. So she actually brought the idea to the AT&T Pioneers. They tried it out and it's been a success ever since. The Salvation Army in Odessa may be far from the North Pole, but it definitely looks like Santa's workshop this time of year as volunteers hand pick out toys for children in need here in the basin. Just this year alone, they're helping 485 families and 952 children so they can have a merrier Christmas by providing toys, clothes and food. Sammy Steele got a chance to see this workshop in action and the elves that are helping making it all happen. More toys Thank for you years. so so much. You're so welcome. Thank you very yes. much. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Have Thank a good you. Day. You Thank too. You. Thank you. Toy after toy after toy is getting dropped off at the Salvation Army in Odessa. We take down their children who are 13 and under, their names, their ages, their clothing shoe size, and then a Christmas want and a Christmas need. And there's a whole lot more that goes into making it a Merry Christmas for local families in the basin, you might think. So much to toys that we have to sort through, organize, and distribute. And That's why preparation starts in October, when families in financial need can start applying for the Angel Tree Program. So the different personalities of these children, you'll have an eight-year-old who wants Legos, and then another eight-year-old who might want cologne, our hoodies, you know, basketball equipment and stuff like that. And so it just varies depending on the children's personality. You, uh, just like Santa and his elves, they the spend months toys collecting toys and items Thank that you. can help make those wishes and wants come true. Because so much hard work has gone into this. By this time, our staff is exhausted. I'm exhausted, you know, but at the same time, uh, we're providing Christmas. And that's the one thing that is, is so true to what we do is we want kids to experience Christmas no matter the hardships that they're facing. Let them be a kid on that day. Let them have that Christmas joy. That seems to be the best gift of all. In Odessa, Sammy Steele, News West 9. Thanks a lot, Sammy. Volunteers and employees actually spent over 500 hours making all that you just saw happen. Well, helping those in need has come full circle for Salvation Army employee Clara Gomez. She now works at the Salvation Army, helping dozens of families in need. But when she was a teenager, she was on the receiving side of the toy drive. Things is my mother was a single mother of five children, and so Christmas was very hard for us. And so I remember getting gifts from the Salvation Army. I remember uh, being a teenager when no one really wants to shop for teens well, and I remember getting a bracelet and a necklace set and a board game. And so that really is important to me, uh, giving back in the same program that I was helped with. Gomez says nothing beats it when families come in and are actually able to have a Merry Christmas.
Big Spring is one of our partners in the News West 9 Salvation Army Toy Drive. Their sorting, packing, and distribution process is pretty hefty. News West 9's Rachel Riff shows you the process. Crystal, Victor, I'm out here in my Christmas red, and we are at the Big Spring Salvation Army where all of the Toy Drive toy sorting is happening. Here's a closer look at how that process exactly works. Jingle. After jingle, one toy at a time. The Salvation Army and News West 9 join hand in hand each year to make the Christmas season a little more jolly for families across the Permian Basin. In Big Spring, that means 400 bags filled with gifts for families right here in the Permian Basin who otherwise might not have been able to put presents under the tree this year. We fill in and make sure each kid gets at least two or three gifts for Christmas. But before they can be unwrapped on Christmas morning, the toys are sorted, categorized, and assigned to a recipient, or in the case of Big Spring, 375 kids and 25 senior citizens. These are families who may find themselves in need this season. Maybe they've suffered a loss of job or even a loss of loved one, um, and they find themselves in a difficult situation. These families will have Christmas. Christmas will be a reality for them. Each bag that leaves this warehouse is filled with gifts for a family in need, filled with more than something off the shelf. They're filled with the love of our community. I get to see the faces of the parents and grandparents that come in, and this year, many times, um, it was their first time having to ask for help. And I see the faces, and there's a lot of fear that comes with not being able to provide Christmas for their children. Something so simple, like a toy for a child, and it's all thanks to a giving spirit, wiping fear away from parents who have the courage to lean on a stranger who cares. By now, all these toys are being loved on by children and families in need across this city, all thanks to the help of the Big Spring community. Back to you at the desk. Families begin signing up for help in October at local Salvation Army offices. The Salvation Army processes each family based on their needs. Once approved, they get all the information needed to fill those wish lists for the kids. Some want toys, others want books, but all the donations, there's usually no problem filling those lists. Now the good news, the Salvation Army came by our station to load up all those toys. Our team, including Victor Lopez, was extremely excited to load them up for them. Okay, guys and gals, this is the day that we look forward to every year during the News West 9 Salvation Army Toy Drive. Look over here to my left. You will see a room that is jam-packed with bags of toys and bicycles, but that is not all. If we can just pan over here to the right, we have another room that is full of toys, and it doesn't stop there, guys and gals. Walk down the hallway, and you'll see all these bikes that were donated to us by Win Electric for all of the kids in West Texas that that, you know, thanks to them, thanks to you and everyone that helped, this is going to be a very Merry Christmas. Oh wait, what's going on? Why are these bikes leaving our hallway? That's because today is the day that we pick up all the toys that we have collected that you have helped us collect and they are going out into two trucks that are waiting for us outside the front door and those trucks are going to be loaded up and they're going to be taking these toys to the warehouses in Midland and Odessa. But the toys that you see here right now are only the toys that you guys have delivered here to the station. We still have all the toys that were dropped off at Walgreens, at Market Street, at West Texas Chevy dealers, at you know all the businesses, schools, families that have volunteered to take in a barrel for this toy drive. We could not do this without you. We have two trucks just like this one that you're looking at right now. They are going to be filled with all of these toys. All the barrels in all the cities and all the store locations are also going to be picked up and they're gonna be taken to the warehouses. They're going to be sorted, bagged, put names on, and because of you, it's gonna be a merry, very Merry Christmas for children in West Texas. We can't say thank you enough for helping us do that, and we wanna wish you a Merry Christmas as well. Well, we had another great year with the toy drive, and it's all thanks to you guys. That's right. Now we've asked the Salvation Armies in Midland, Odessa, and Big Spring about how many families they've helped and about how many toys they've collected. So let's take a look at those total numbers. Let's have a drum roll, please. Would you look at that? 
about 1,135 families were helped and about 10,260 toys were collate, collected in total. Wow, another huge success this year. All because of you, these families will definitely have a Merry Christmas. And again, thanks to all of you who opened up your hearts and opened up your wallets to make it a very spe special Christmas for the kids. And from all of us here at News West 9, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas.